all these books and all this reading eventually made me want to write. And that's how I got into advertising. A friend read a piece I wrote in a magazine and suggested copywriting. Honestly, I couldn't believe they actually paid you to do this stuff. I'm not sure if I really do have a creative process unless persistence can be counted as one, uh, but I do know what inspires me. And uh, that's stories and storytelling. Uh, I love uh, even snippets of stories you listen to, you know, you're on a plane and you hear someone say something or you're in a bar or at a dinner. I love stories, beginning, middle and end. But most of all, I love books. I, I love words written in a certain compelling way that make me want to read. I love books on screens, but I particularly love books when I'm on holiday that I can feel and touch. Because I grew up in South Africa, TV came late, so from an early age, I was always found in the bedroom reading. I have some of those still. Um, Roald Dahl was uh, huge in my, my early life. Loved the twits, incredible uh, illustrations that I would stare at uh, for hours and hours. Um, this is an annual from 1927. Again, interesting illustrations, beautiful artwork. Um, Chum's Wireless Club, which I guess was the internet of the, the 20s. Um, you can use a lot of this uh, for your own kind of storytelling. Everyone knows Dr. Zeus. These two books travel with me they're in my backpack. Um, no better learning um, on how to tell a story than the rhyming couplets of Dr. Zeus with, again, uh, just remarkable uh, illustrations, gets a child's mind activated, gets a grown-up's one doing exactly the same. Of course, as you grow older, you have different books, for me anyway. Uh, Salinger, Catch in the Rye was the coming of age book. Um, read all his books in my teens. Uh, another huge favorite was Kurt Vonnegut, beautiful storyteller, nice eccentric but very accessible writing. Books give you a, a different perspective. They take you to different landscapes, they open your mind in different countries. You don't always have to agree with the point of view, but you do have to, I think, uh, allow your mind to be open and accessible to them. So um, I remember these books as if I read them yesterday. Things fall apart if you want to know um, about a changing Africa. Color Purple by Alice Walker covers a bit stuffed, but you don't throw this book away. One through of the Cooker's Nest, there's a very young Jack Nicholson. Um, all these books um, build layers of stories uh, in my mind that I can dip into later. Not that you always have to take yourself too seriously. Reading a lot allows you to go to a different place. Um, and you can say movies do that and video does, and of course it does. But to me, reading engages your mind very differently. Um, it's kind of like you, you read, um, she was a beautiful statuesque woman, but you and I have to work out what that woman looks like. So it's a, a circle that's taken two thirds and then you close the last third and that's using your imagination. Of course, there are many wonderful ways to tell stories. Um, perhaps you can even tell great stories in advertising, baked beans, 10% uh, off till Saturday is a story. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. You just have to say it in a very compelling way. It intrigued me about 10 years ago, the word uh, narrative began to appear in the marketing and advertising lexicon. Suddenly everyone wanted to know what's the narrative behind the brand? What's the narrative behind the campaign? Well, like any great story, um, you need a backstory. The story has to come from somewhere. The story needs an arc. It has to be going somewhere. The characters in that story, in that provenance, should be believable. Uh, if everything is very superficial, it's probably going to be particularly forgettable. And most important of all, you need consistency. If too many voices are telling that narrative at the same time in a different way, all you're really ending up with is uh, the Tower of Babel. And lastly, uh, in terms of inspiration amongst all the books, I do have uh, one illustration that I look at 24-7. Um, 
It's this one by Folan. Uh, for me, it's a kind of visual metaphor to always stay open-minded. I think you do obviously need talent, but the future belongs to the open-minded. Open mind means you can not only create new and original stories, but you can also receive them. And if you're not doing that, trust me, all you're doing is adding to the sea of sameness. You may be incrementally changing things, but in all honesty, is anyone noticing? I doubt it. On the other hand, if you're open-minded and if you're brave, um, certainly according to Dr. Zeus, um, and will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. All 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Who's to argue?